Got some comic book stuff that I want to go over. Now, I talked about this yesterday a little bit in the comic book video that I made, and that's that IDW is pretty much done. I don't see them surviving another two years. They're going to lay off 39% of their staff. They've been delisted from the stock exchange. It's looking pretty bad for IDW. Unless somebody dumps a bunch of free money on them again, I don't think that they're going to do that well this year, especially in a shrinking comic book market. And it is shrinking rapidly, especially when a lot of the stuff that gets put out is garbage. There's some gems out there from every publisher, but it's they're nowhere near, there's nowhere near a good amount of comics compared to the the garbage ones because there is a lot of garbage comics. We're going to talk about one in a second. So one of the questions that I've had is what's going to happen to DC. It looks like not much. Oh, they are going to downsize, I bet, because they're giving Jim Lee more responsibility. I've talked about this before. A DC and Marvel don't cost Warner or Disney that much money to keep alive. I think they'll keep them around as long as the comic book movies keep making money. After that, I I don't know. But the answer to David Zasloff, I guess, or his answer, I guess, is to give Jim Lee more responsibility. Jim Lee is an amazing artist, an amazing talent. Uh, I'm not saying you know, anything bad about the man's career as an artist, but as an executive, it's definitely been hit or miss. I think he would be much better as, you know, a talent and doing his thing on books like he used to instead of running DC Comics. He's not been a very good executive, in my opinion. He just hasn't been. Uh, But he is now not only the publisher, (laughs) and the CCO. He's also the president now. Lee re-upping his deal with DC has been promoted to now act as president as well as publisher and CCO of the comic book company, which is part of Warner Brothers Discovery. So (laughs) now he has three jobs. When is the man, is he even going to be able to do covers now? Which was all he was doing. He hasn't really made any comics, I don't think, in a while because they've got him too busy doing all this shit, and I'm sure the pay is nice, but he's not the greatest executive, I'm going to be honest. Great artist, fantastic artist. I would argue one of the best that there was in comics, but uh, as an executive, I don't think his track record has been that good. Comic book industry, man. Well, I have the answer for you, all of you that are wondering what, Will the industry do next to get back in the news to save everything, to save comic books? Well, that's bring Whoopi Goldberg in to do a comic (laughs) for real. Whoopi Goldberg's debut graphic novel promises a new kind of superhero. The change. Looks like Whoopi Goldberg. Anybody ever looked at Whoopi Goldberg and said, I'd love to see her as a superhero? That's basically what this is. So this is going to sell nothing. No one's going to rush to the comic shops for this. I don't get this. Now, you know what? This has been done a few times. Uh, They did it recently with Keanu Reeves, which worked. That Berserker comic is actually pretty legit. But Keanu Reeves is a better name to back because he's universally loved. Like everyone loves Keanu Reeves, and he's a known action star. And his whole book idea was a action star. There wasn't really anything political about it. It's just a good action book. This is a book about a 50-year-old woman in menopause who gets powers from going through menopause. Okay, you know what this reminds me of? Is that shitty book that Daenerys Targaryen put out. What's her name? Uh, Amelia Clark from Game of Thrones. She put out a comic book uh, called Mom, 
think it, Mother of Madness or something. I can't remember the actual name of the book. It was Mom something. And the premise of the book was that she gets her powers through her period. And she could, like, grow her body hair. There were panels of her capturing criminals with her armpit hair. It was gross. Uh, that book got a lot of news coverage, as this one is getting. But it didn't do anything for the industry. And what really pisses me off about this is there are a lot of great, great indie creators out there that are making some fantastic, fantastic comics that are independent. You know, you have to find them, and they have to get promoted. It's the only way you can find them. Like a good example is the Diaz brothers. One of them comes on my Flashcast streams quite often. Uh, he's got a book out, The Lost Pages. So it's, a, it's an amazing book, a great book. Michael Bancroft is another great example, The Lucent. That's a legit book, too. These guys, they don't get looked at by the mainstream. But Whoopi Goldberg does. For what? No, what? This, is gonna, this is a comic book for nobody. Do you think 50-year-old women are going to want to read this? Boy, that's the market that will save comics. 50-plus-year-old women. If they were going to read comics and get into it, don't you think they would have done it in the golden age? Or actually, no, wouldn't they, they'd be more silver age. I'm sorry. They'd be more silver age. Uh, don't you think they would have gotten into comics in the silver age, the age they grew up in? The foundation, really, of the American comic book industry? I, I know the golden age was around, but it was the silver age, I would argue, where things really got big. Marvel really kind of just brought in the A game during the Silver Age and really blew up comics. But yeah, this is this is what's going to save us all. This is what's going to save the industry. Let's start getting Whoopi Goldberg type celebrities to make comics. Whoopi Goldberg, by the way, a uh, very big political mouthpiece for the left. So you're already still catering to that audience. I I just don't get it. And this is from Dark Horse. You think this is going to fly off the shelves, chat? No. So I can, let me find that little, I'll give you the plot summary of what they want to do here. Because of her lifelong love for comic books, Goldberg decided it was time to create a new kind of superhero. One who might be a little older, whose body might be a little thicker, and whose breasts may not be the same size. She also smack in the middle of menopause, which, along with chills and hot flashes, also gave her some unexpected superpowers. Wow. Boy, oh boy, that sounds exciting. I can't wait for this. <laughs> the next article that we'll be reading is uh, Dark Horse laying off 39% of its employees. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this. I'd like to hear from you. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.